from the Sierra Nevada Aquatic Research Lab, University of California. Behind the camera are my two courts, cohorts, uh, Ian Bell and Bruce Medhurst, who also have been working on this lake, Walker Lake, with me for many years now. It's a terminal lake in Nevada. Terminal lakes have no outlets, and uh, so the solutes, the salts that accumulate in those lakes over time become more and more uh, concentrated. And that's especially true at Walker Lake because uh, irrigation water upstream has been diverted for many years now and the lake has actually dropped 150 feet at this point so it's way way below what it would be and in recent years as the volume has really contracted on the lake the salinity of the lake has come to a point where it has already um, extirpated the Lahontan cutthroat trout that live here it's threatening the tui chub that still exist here it's threatening the bird populations that live here because they rely in some cases on those fish as a food resource, but also the aquatic invertebrates in the shallow um, near shore lake, uh, near, near shore environment of the lake, the littoral zone, that's where we are doing our research. And we're studying all the aquatic invertebrates, mostly insects that live there, and how they're affected by the salinity, the rising salinity of the lake. And they are by and large threatened by at least the existing invertebrates that are in right there right now. Midges and, and damselflies have been the primary food resource to um, both birds and fish in the lake, and their numbers are now threatened by the rising salinity of the lake. 